Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video and we are back in XCOM 2 This time, well, things have changed a little Not to mention I have got a lot to talk about Have you guys been checking out CES, the Consumer, yeah, the consumer Electronics Show? I tell you what, I am excited! Sorry, just, you know I run a bit of a text out of the channel I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking excited <laughs> But anyway, we will get to that in a bit first uh, Little update on the situation. So as you can see, the Avatar project is well nearly complete. That's really not good for us. But well, what's this? Power armor. Yes, we have finally got the final tier of armor, which means we just have to go ahead and oh, well, build this gorgeous. Yeah, it's got more pockets than the last. It's got more armor than the last, and more than that, it gives more health to everybody than the last. So yes, all of our troops can now equip power armor. Just gonna head over to engineering after this. Start researching all these other things they're throwing at us. Things are looking up. So we're in engineering, gonna go ahead and build ourselves some power armor. There it is, the warden armor. We'll get the warden armor first and then we'll get the anodized chassis for the spark units. Sadly that will have to be next time, but Either way, we've got power armor. It looks badass. Jen Kelly, our number one. And also, despite the Avatar project nearly being at its completion, we have a couple of aces up our sleeve. First, we've just made contact with, well, Africa for the first time. And, well, it turns out... Well, Advent's got a very big Advent black site there. Yeah, yeah, East Africa, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, we got all that. But it also means that we can finally start on the Advent Black site. There. You know what? We've been on the back foot for too long. I say it's about time that we finally take the fight to Advent. It's time for some power armored payback. So, we're gonna go ahead and sort out the team, make sure that we've got the A team ready for action. And with that done, the only thing to do is go ahead and hit start mission, really. A team of ultimate badasses. Okay, so what this mission is, is we actually have to go to a big facility, kick in the front door, say, sorry, but we're not going to pay for damages this time. Yeah, we are very serious. Plant a huge bomb there and get the hell out of here that's the plan but yes after moving our troops up we got a first engagement so whilst that's happening in the background I'm going to talk about what I'm really excited about CES right so first off Intel good effort I'm that's putting it nicely, isn't it? Good effort at a push. AMD on the other hand have a hand of just being absolutely slaying. I mean slaying it to you. I was like, have you seen some of their stuff? Yo, the new Ryzen 4000 mobile process processors, they are astounding. It's like what? An 8 core CPU. That only uses 15 watts in a mobile device. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And then you've got the other things that turned up, you know, like oh, the announcements for everything they're planning to do this year. Not to mention play Fred Ripper. You guys saw that Fred Ripper. That is insane. Let's see if I can go ahead and find it. So I've got a load of notes sitting on the side here. Yeah, gaming, blah, 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 blah. That's not the one I want. Keep scrolling. But yes. Ryzen Fredripper 3990X. I. I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, a 64 core desktop processor. Yes, it's a high end desktop processor, but the fact is, that is a processor that you can put into a desktop machine that has more processing power than two. Yes, two. Xeon 8280 CPUs 
Keep in mind that those two 8280s, they cost about 20 grand. This is the, well, still pretty expensive four grand for the Fred Ripper. Which one has got more cores, more frets, <laughs> and is, give or take, about 30% faster. So it's cheaper. It's faster. It's ridiculously more powerful. What what the hell are Intel gonna do? I mean seriously, they are being destroyed by AMD. Like so from choice. mobile to high end desktop to so even the server space. AMD is slaying it with CPUs. They are slowly slaying it with their uh, like, graphics cards as well, like you know, the announcement for the fifty five hundred and all that lot. I say give it a Give it six months. AMD's stock alone should be through the roof. I mean, that's already through the roof what it normally is, but Jesus Christ, that's the stuff they've been doing. But damn, this way. <laughs> Freaking 64 core Fred Ripper. I can't get over that. It's so insane. It is amazing. It's impressive. But it's so insane. I have a base clock of 2.9 GHz, a boost clock of 4.3, I wonder what that will be on the all core. Let's see if I can go ahead and find that quickly. But you know, that, that many cores on a desktop chip? Like, don't get me wrong, if, if I could, I would happily, happily pick up one of those. But, you know, they're kind of expensive. I don't exactly have four ground to sit around. I mean, hell, I'm going to be struggling to pull the money out of my ass to go ahead and upgrade to my 3950X by the end of this year. But Jesus. Let's see, 3990X. All cool, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No word on what the all cool, too, will be. Okay. Fact. I wonder if they will have it on their website. AMD, where are you? Let's see. OU technologies, specifications, yada yada yada. Base clock, suitable cores, yada yada yada. Max boost clock, understand. Okay, does it have an all call? Look, no, it doesn't. Target neutralized. I suppose. Okay, it's making me laugh. Just a little bit like, no, I understand that all of AMD's chips are well, practically all of them will be unlocked, you know, so you can overclock in that lot. But tell me, who the hell has got a cooling solution beefy enough for them to reasonably overclock a Fred Ripper on all cores? <laughs> like, it's a nearly 300 watt processor. What marvelous piece of engineering must you require to keep that thing cool? Enough for you to go ahead and do all core turboing on it. Jesus. X-ray neutralized. I think Advent's been letting some of the rejects slip through production. Yeah, this thing's massive. Freaking quarter of a gigabyte L3 cache. Jesus. I know there are some of you that are probably like, huh? That's all this is about, but those of you who are into tech stuff like me, you understand why I am so excited about this. Got double the cores of its predecessor. Double. Sure you know, stuff like handbrake and rendering and that lot. I'm not joking. It would cut my rendering time. For say something that took me five hours, down to twenty minutes if it scales properly. It probably will. Well, I'd say probably. There's always a chance it'll actually run out of the like, ability to spread the task much more. But yeah. If all went well, I could go ahead and cut five hours down to twenty minutes. Just Jesus. Sixty-four cores, hundred and twenty-eight threads, eighty-eight PCI. Jesus Christ. Quad channel DDR4 good as well. Ooh, ECC memory score, that's always nice to have, damn. NVMe 
A6 and VME this great. Jesus, that's um. That would be interesting to have a look at. Jesus. Six, A6 and VME. Could you imagine that? Just for a second. Six and VME drive, so it can probably have anywhere between 3,000 and 4,000 read writes. Can you imagine running that in RAID 0 across all six drives? That would be an insane amount of performance! Jesus, I don't think you'd, I think you'd actually run into a CPU bottleneck with that much speed. Jesus. But yeah, AMD. Fair play at CES. I'm hopeful for the next year and two. And hopefully by the end of it, we will all be a lot better off for it. And if nothing else, they should finally give by Intel a kick up the arse they need so they can actually get on with it. Anyway, so what's happened in the match? Well, it appears that the Chosen's appeared up, we've stomped his face to the curb, and we're about to go ahead and kick a load of people's teeth in with a big explosion. Which kind of makes me laugh, because weren't we here to do this with an even bigger explosion? Seems kind of redundant at this point, but I ain't gonna complain. People, open fire! Preferably hitting something. That'll do. <laughs> oh, God. oh, hey. Oh, things. By the way, next couple of weeks, you can expect a lot of overclocking tutorials from me. So, with the ridiculous amounts of hardware that I have that I can actually overclock and shit, I will be doing it so you can get a feel for what you're supposed to do, how you do it, stuff like that. Take it more as a general guide, by the way, don't go ahead and adhere to, ooh, I can do that because you can do that. Keep in mind, a lot of my stuff is um, somewhat modded to make it more capable, and on top of that you may always lose the silicon lottery and just get something that just doesn't like at all overclock. It does happen. It's terrible when it happens. But you can get lucky, you never know, you might even be able to go ahead and beat me. So there you go, there's something to look forward to. So CES, that went well. Overclocking, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was planning to mention in this video. Not so much. I think we're almost done here. Time to go home, blow this place up and say, hey, Advent, we got our payback. And guess what? We're coming for you. Status confirmed. Nice. Chosen encounter. The Grimhound. Dar Bullidur. <sighs> so our heroes return, not only really just as normal heroes, but now with a load of kernels in the mix. Ah, always nice when you come home for teen medals. We've now got Captain Alex the Man Morin. You go ahead and teach him the face off skill, because that thing is an absolute dream in a pinch. Gonna promote Colonel Connor the 117 volt caster discharge. That's another one that's great against robots. And of course, Colonel Jane Bloody Kelly. And we are definitely gonna go for the Reaper ability because, well, Serial plus Reaper. Put it this way, Advent, you're gonna die. Anyway, coming towards the end of this video, so I shall leave you all here. I hope you like it. If you didn't like it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Any thoughts or questions, leave them in the form of a comment below. Don't forget to check the links out to stay up to date. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to hear from me, the 117th Con. This has been the 117th Con, signing off. Have a great day, folks, and what you know, We've set our back. Anyway, that's a good way to end. I'll see you next time.